Hi, I'm Chris Kepler, and welcome to Does This Happen to You? I'm an actor, voice actor, audiobook narrator, and writer. I love reading, pondering, and sharing humorous stories about the freakish things that happen in everyday life. That's why this podcast features funny stories from fantastic writers about our daily aberrations, a micro-audio book about life and befuddlement just for you. Our story this week is from Carrie Kramer, who you'll find on Medium.com. And here is Menopause Unleashed, a hilarious survival guide for ladies of a certain age. True Stories from a 70-Year-Old Survivor Dear ladies of a certain age, you have my sympathy and my encouragement. Hang in there, dearies. It will be over soon. Maybe not soon enough, but it will be over. Just a warning. The memories may haunt you forever. It happened to me almost 30 years ago, and I wish I had been better prepared for the change of life. I thought the least I could do was share my experience with those of you who are facing menopause to help you be more prepared than I was. I'm a nice old lady. Clue number one. The change is near. Irregular periods. I was standing on the altar of a Catholic church waiting to distribute communion at my friend's son's wedding, Mass. I stood up there for four and a half painfully long minutes while the vocalist sang the entire song of Ave Maria. I was looking out at the congregation, feeling awkward, and no doubt looking stupid, when it happened. Drip, drip, drip. How could this be? I haven't had a period in such a long time. I thought I was done with the whole mess. What am I going to do? I did as many kegels as I could, hoping to stop the flow. With legs held tightly together, I walked off the altar to the front aisle and just kept walking, down the aisle, out the church door, to the bathroom. Surprise, it was a full-fledged period. Rule number one, wear a sanitary napkin or disposable adult diapers for the rest of your life, just in case. Clue number two. The change is near. You gain weight. Once your periods start to wane, your weight starts to gain. Remember the freshman 15? Well, it's the menopause 35. At least it was for me in one year. I remember attending my Aunt Ardella and Uncle Ralph's 50th wedding anniversary party. I had to buy a new dress since nothing fit anymore. I'll never forget it. I love that dress. It became my uniform during my personal summer, as we called the change. It was a navy blue sleeveless maxi dress with a sailor's style collar and gold buttons down the front. I thought I looked slim in it. We arrived late at the massive banquet hall in the Polish neighborhood of our city, All 200 of my closest relatives were already seated, waiting for the kielbasa, sauerkraut, and potato cheese pierogi dinner to be served. My Aunt Ardella and Uncle Ralph were in the front of the room when we walked in. As I hugged her, she yelled, Well, it looks like you joined our club. Everyone looked up. Side note, she was hard of hearing, and I used to have a very nice figure. What club? I asked Aunt Ardella. She yelled louder while patting her big belly. You know our club. You got real fat. I could hear my cousins, aunts, and uncles break out in laughter. I looked at my husband in tears and said, Let's go home. We walked out of that hall, all eyes on us. We went home, and I joined Weight Watchers the very next day. Rule number two. Don't go anywhere where you may be seen by people who knew you before menopause. Clue number three. The change is near. You will become a crazy lady. You might not realize it, but everyone who knows you will. Looking back, 
I was either sad or mad for a few years during the height of menopause. I remember feeling fine one minute. The next minute, I would be sad and depressed, or in a rage over what I don't know. I can remember one of my crying rages in vivid detail. It came out of nowhere. I was washing the dinner dishes while my two teenagers, with their gangly bodies, were slouched on the couch, devouring a whole pan of pizza rolls, even though we had just finished dinner. The facts of life was blaring on TV. I started to cry. Standing at the kitchen sink, it crescendoed into a loud, ugly cry. My kids turned around and asked me what was wrong. I can't have kids anymore, I blubbered. They laughed hysterically, almost choking on their pizza rolls. They started making fun of me, which made me mad. So I did what any menopausal mama would do. I took my arm and swept all the dishes, pots, and pans on the counter to the floor in one fell swoop. As they stared at me, I realized I had become crazy. I have two teenagers. I don't want any more kids, even if I could still have them. Plus, sex? Really? They looked scared. They asked, Mom, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine, I said, and calmly finished the dishes as my kids picked up the broken plates. Now I knew they were scared. Rule number three, always carry Kleenex and a Xanax. Clue number four, the change is near. You will have hot flashes and you will sweat profusely. There's no escaping it. After a nice shower, you will get into your jammies and climb into bed with clean, crisp sheets ready for a relaxing night of slumber, only to toss and turn. You will find the sheets twisted and your pillow on the floor. If you sleep with a partner, he or she will have moved to the spare bedroom. Your sheets, hair, armpits, private areas, and jammies will be soaked with sweat. If you are anything like me, and I hope to God you're not, you will peel your wet clothes off and take refuge outside. Fresh air feels good, even in Ohio, in the snow, but naked. You might be giving a presentation to a group of colleagues or teaching a classroom full of students when all of a sudden, your face becomes hot and flushed, and the back of your hair starts dripping into your neckline. Oh, the perils of menopause! Rule number four. Always have an escape plan to cool off, a change of clothes, and a dry towel handy. Clue number five. The change is near. Your period stops, and it will be over. You will be free. No more Tampax, Kotex, or Minstrel Cup. No more birth control. No more hot flashes and night sweats. No more mood swings unless you are bipolar. And then that's another story. No more weight gain. Or maybe you will give up trying to lose it and say, What the hell? I'm fat and sassy. Either way, you will be free. Rule number four. Always remember your elders have paved the way for you, and we survived it. Remember, too, that we sympathize with you and encourage you to get through this time in your life with as much grace and patience as you can muster. Life will get better. But in the meantime, wallow in self-pity, eat whatever you want, and stay away from people, unless they are also menopausal women. Good luck, dearies. Thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed this story, let me know and share it with your friends. Follow me at Chris Narrates on Twitter or Chris K. Kepler on Facebook or check out my website, chriskepler.com. <laughs>